Have you ever wondered where Voyager 1 is now? Let's take a step back and start at the beginning of this cosmic journey. Picture this. It's September 5th, 1977. A day that would forever change our understanding of the cosmos. At Cape Canaveral, nestled within Florida's space coast, a spacecraft named Voyager 1 is ready to embark on its inaugural voyage. The buzz of anticipation is electric. The purpose of this mission? To explore the outer planets of our solar system and if all goes well, to reach beyond the confines of our celestial neighborhood. This is no ordinary spacecraft. Voyager 1 is about to kickstart a new era in space exploration. The launch is a success. Voyager 1 soars into the sky, its engines roaring with fiery determination. It leaves behind Earth, a blue marble fading into the inky blackness of space, and sets its sights on the giant planets that loom in the distance. Voyager 1's mission is more than just a planetary tour. It carries with it the golden record, a message from humanity to any extraterrestrial life that may stumble upon it. Encoded in this gold-plated copper disc are sounds, images, and greetings in 55 languages, a snapshot of life on Earth. As Voyager 1 ventures further into the cosmos, it begins to send back data, it reveals the storms of Jupiter, the rings of Saturn, and the icy moons of the outer planets. Our understanding of the solar system deepens and evolves with each new discovery. But Voyager 1's journey doesn't stop at the edge of our solar system. The spacecraft, resilient and determined, continues to venture into the unknown, into the vast expanse of interstellar space. It's the first human-made object to travel this far, an ambassador of Earth in the cosmic ocean. This marked the beginning of a journey that would redefine our understanding of the universe. Voyager 1's primary mission was an ambitious one dubbed, the Grand Tour. This was a journey that would take our intrepid explorer on a whirlwind trip through the outer planets of our solar system. Jupiter was the first stop on this celestial road trip. Arriving in early 1979, Voyager 1 sent back the first detailed images of this giant gas planet and its moons. These snapshots revealed swirling storms including the Great Red Spot, a storm larger than our entire planet, and the intricate detail of the cloud bands that encircle the planet. We also got our first close-up look at the Galilean moons, including the icy surface of Europa, and the volcanic activity of Io next up was Saturn, the ringed beauty of our solar system. Voyager 1 arrived there in November of 1980, giving us an up-close view of its complex ring system and its largest moon, Titan. The images sent back showed us that Titan had a thick atmosphere, a discovery that has since led scientists to speculate about the possibility of life existing there. The Grand Tour was a resounding success but it wasn't without its challenges. After each planetary encounter adjustments had to be made to Voyager 1's trajectory. These were precision maneuvers, designed to slingshot the spacecraft onto its next destination while conserving as much fuel as possible. With each successful maneuver, Voyager 1 ventured further and further away from home, becoming the first man-made object to travel so far into the unknown. It was a journey that took us beyond the confines of our home planet, beyond the familiar faces of our neighboring planets, and into the vastness of our solar system. With the grand tour complete, Voyager 1 was set on a course towards the unknown. The outer planets and their mysteries were behind it. Ahead lay the heliosphere, the outermost layer of the sun's atmosphere and beyond that, interstellar space. The next chapter in Voyager 1's journey was about to begin, a journey into the uncharted territories of the cosmos. In 1989, Voyager 1's mission was officially extended to explore the outermost edge of the sun's influence. This marked the beginning of the interstellar mission, a journey into the unknown. Voyager 1 was tasked with a monumental duty to measure the interstellar medium, the stuff that fills the space between the stars. This mission was as exciting as it was challenging. After all, Voyager 1 was venturing into uncharted territories, far beyond our solar system. The challenges were manifold. One of the biggest hurdles was communication. Imagine trying to send a text message from a phone that's billions of miles away except it's not a phone, it's a spacecraft launched in the 70s and it's not a text, it's complex scientific data. The data from Voyager 1 travels at the speed of light and even then it takes about 17 hours for it to reach us. Despite the challenges, Voyager 1 exceeded expectations. In fact in 1998, it achieved a milestone that no other human-made object had ever reached. Voyager 1 became the most distant human-made object from Earth, a record it continues to break with each passing second. But distance was not the only thing that made Voyager 1 special. It was the data it sent back that truly made the difference. 
The information provided by Voyager 1 has given us new insights into the heliosphere, the protective bubble of particles and magnetic fields created by the Sun. As Voyager 1 journeyed further, it started to encounter the interstellar medium. It began to measure the particles, cosmic rays, and magnetic fields that exist in the space between the stars. These measurements were critical in helping us understand the structure and nature of the universe beyond our solar system. As Voyager 1 continued its journey, it was about to make one of the most significant discoveries in space exploration. In 2012, Voyager 1 made a breakthrough discovery. Like a fearless explorer setting foot on unexplored land, this spacecraft, an envoy of humanity, crossed a boundary that no human-made object had ever crossed before. This boundary is known as the heliopause, a point in space where the sun's solar wind is stopped by the interstellar medium. The heliopause is an invisible line in the cosmic sand, a boundary that separates our solar system from the vast, unexplored expanse of interstellar space. The solar wind, a stream of charged particles constantly flowing out from the sun, creates a kind of bubble, a protective shield around our solar system. This bubble is called the heliosphere. When Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause it was stepping outside this protective bubble. It was venturing into a region where the sun's influence wanes and the interstellar medium reigns. This was a significant event, not just for the Voyager mission but for humanity as a whole. It was the first time a human-made object had reached interstellar space. Voyager 1's crossing of the heliopause was not an easy feat. It took more than 35 years of travel, and the spacecraft had to endure harsh conditions, from intense radiation, to tiny, yet potentially damaging, dust particles. But the spacecraft was built to last. It was designed to withstand these challenges, and it did so with flying colors. The data that Voyager 1 has been sending back since crossing the heliopause has been invaluable. It has given us a glimpse into a region of space that we can't reach with our current technology. It has shown us that the interstellar medium is not a void but a region filled with matter, magnetic fields and cosmic rays. This information not only adds to our understanding of the universe but also paves the way for future interstellar missions. It helps us to prepare for the challenges that may lie ahead and to dream of the possibilities that await us in the vast expanse of space. Voyager 1, now in interstellar space, was truly in uncharted territory. It's a pioneer, a trailblazer, an explorer, and its journey is far from over. So where is Voyager 1 now? Well, this intrepid explorer is currently over 14 billion miles away from the sun. That's a distance so vast it's hard to even comprehend. It's hurtling through the vastness of interstellar space, far beyond the boundaries of our solar system. And despite its distance, Voyager 1 is not alone. It's still in constant communication with us, its messages taking about 21 hours to reach Earth. Every day, this little spacecraft sends back a wealth of data about this uncharted territory. Its instruments continue to function, capturing information about cosmic rays, interstellar plasma, and magnetic fields. These are not just distant readings, they're the furthest direct measurements of these phenomena that we have. But Voyager 1 is not invincible. It's a spacecraft of the 70s after all. Its technology, while advanced for its time, has its limitations. The power supply of Voyager 1 which runs its instruments and communications is slowly dwindling. It's fueled by three radioisotope thermoelectric generators or RTGs, which convert the heat from decaying plutonium, 238, into electricity, but these RTGs are losing their potency. It's estimated that by the mid-2030s, there won't be enough power to keep any of the instruments operational. However, even as its power fades, Voyager 1 will continue to hurtle forward at a speed of about 38,000 miles per hour. It will remain a silent ambassador of Earth, carrying the golden record a time capsule filled with sounds and images selected to portray the diversity of life and culture on our planet. So, even though the day will come when we no longer receive data from Voyager 1, it will not mark the end of its journey. Far from it. This spacecraft, a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity, will continue to traverse the cosmos long after we've lost touch. Voyager 1, even after decades in space, continues its endless voyage. Voyager 1's journey has left an indelible mark on our understanding of the universe. This remarkable spacecraft, a testament to human ingenuity and curiosity, has provided us with unprecedented insights into our cosmic neighborhood. One of the most iconic aspects of Voyager 1 is the golden record. 
This phonograph record, a kind of time capsule, carries sounds and images selected to portray the diversity of life and culture on Earth. From the music of Beethoven to the sound of a mother's first words to her newborn, the Golden Record is a message of peace and goodwill, a testament to our shared human experience. It's an audacious attempt to communicate with an extraterrestrial intelligence, a cosmic hello from the people of Earth. Beyond its cultural impact, Voyager 1's scientific contributions are unparalleled. It has given us close-up views of the outer planets, discovered new moons, and provided invaluable data about the outer limits of our solar system. Its findings have reshaped our understanding of the cosmos, prompting us to rethink our theories and models. But Voyager 1's legacy extends beyond its own mission. It has inspired a new generation of space exploration. Future missions, like the planned interstellar probe, owe much to the trail blazed by Voyager 1. These missions aim to push the boundaries even further, to explore the interstellar medium in more detail, to seek out what lies beyond our solar system. Voyager 1, with its golden record, is a symbol of our inherent desire to explore, to learn, to connect. It's a reminder of our capacity to dream big and reach for the stars quite literally. And as we continue to track its progress to decode its data, we are constantly reminded of our place in the cosmos. As Voyager 1 continues its journey we are reminded of our place in the vast universe. Its legacy is a beacon, guiding us as we venture further into the cosmos, reminding us that we are indeed explorers on the endless voyage of discovery. Voyager 1's journey is a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity. From its auspicious launch in 1977, this spacecraft has been on an endless voyage, a grand tour of our solar system and beyond. Its mission, to reach into the farthest corners of space, has redefined our understanding of the cosmos. The Voyager 1 crossed the heliosphere, the boundary of our solar system, and ventured into the interstellar space, a first in human history. Its current location, more than 13 billion miles away, is a testament to our relentless pursuit of knowledge. The legacy of Voyager 1 is not just about its incredible journey, but also about the impact it has had on our understanding of space. This spacecraft has transformed us from earthbound observers into interstellar explorers. As we look up at the night sky we can't help but wonder, where will Voyager 1 take us next?